Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about my DJI Osmo camera which is what I'm filming with right now. I love to be able to use this camera to film for vlogs because it'll do the face tracking and everything but I want a way to mount it in my car so that I can maybe vlog or talk while I'm driving or just film the road or whatever. So in order to do that today at Best Buy I went out and got the uh, Joby suction mount uh, with a adjustable arm that came with it and it comes with a GoPro attachment. So I also have then a GoPro extension, which I don't necessarily need in this scenario, but I'm using it just because it gives a little bit more flexibility. Um, and then the Osmo Pocket GoPro mount adapter that DJI makes. So I've got that all hooked up, suction cup it to my windshield, mount the DJI in this, and then hopefully we'll make a more sturdy way to have my camera mounted and it'll be hands-free. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get this installed and see what it looks like. All right, so I've got the DJI mounted on my windshield using the mount. Seems to work pretty good. There's a little bit of bounce to it, so I don't know how much I'm kind of tapping the bottom of it and making it wiggle I don't know how much that's going to transmit or translate into shaky video when I go over bumps and stuff so you can see the bracket here mounted on my windshield with the pocket now you can see when I bounce see how kind of bouncy it is when I go over bumps that's going to bounce so let's see that's bouncing quite a bit really doesn't come through too bad in the final video if you look around the edges of the screen you know up at the edge up here you can see the jiggle but when you're just looking at my face my face is pretty steady it's holding pretty steady and i'm doing some pretty rigorous bouncing so that, that's totally acceptable that's way less shake and bounce than there would be if i was hand holding it in here i'd be my hand would be bouncing and moving all over the place so let's go get some lunch and see how this does while i drive if it stays locked onto me because i don't know the gimbal when the gimbal turns in theory i don't know what that's going to do to the view if it's going to cause the view to shift or what it will do right now the face tracking is working really well so let's uh let's go get some lunch See, we're going to turn here let's see what it is oh i can see the head turning shifting a little bit but seems to be staying trained on me pretty well and i can see i'm connected with the wireless so i can see the what the camera is seeing using my phone and i can control it so that's awesome so i can use all the pro mode features if i want to 24 frames per second and all that jazz I don't know if I have this in the fast track. It does look a little bit like the camera tilted, which gimbals do do that. When you go around corners, the G-forces I've noticed, my handheld Juin crane that I put my other camera on, those tend to, when you go around corners with the G-forces, they tend to tilt and they come out slightly tilted at the end of the corner. Now it looks like it's straightened itself out though fire truck coming here got a pull over let the fire truck go by engine number nine I do have to say I am totally loving this camera yeah it's got some shortcomings it doesn't do everything it's not the perfect camera for every scenario but it is a great camera always have with me I can get just about any kind of shot that I want to get with it so saves me having to carry around my bigger cameras all the time now, I'm not it's not replacing my bigger cameras it's just saving me from having to carry them with me all the time like I would carry around my Juin crane which by the way that is how you pronounce that it's spelled Z H I Y-U-N, and most people online pronounce it Zayun or Jayun or Jiyun, but it's not. It's Juin, which seems backwards because the I seems like 
should have a E or, you know, but it has U, so it's Juin. I have looked it up from the company themselves, how they pronounce it, and it is Juin. But I would, I would often lug that Juin crane gimbal in my backpack with me to and from work all the time to different things because I always never really knew when I might want to use it to get a stabilized gimbal type shot. But now I don't need to because I have this thing to take with me everywhere I go. And I'm not going to go through a drive through because if you watched my earlier vlogs, you may know or remember that I am on a calorie counting diet right now. So I'm trying to limit my calorie intake. So I'm weaning myself off of regular pop by mixing in diet. So I feel stupid in a drive through saying, hey, could you make it half diet, half regular? So I just go in, get my food, then I can fill my own drink and I can mix it how I want it. So I'm gonna go in, get my food, and then I will be right back. Moments later. All right, so I'm back. I got my Runza and my drink and we're ready to head back. So now this time I've turned face tracking off just to see how well the camera stays pointed at me without face tracking when I turn corners. Like right now I'm backing out of my parking stall and turning and we'll see if the camera, how it does. Now, so it, it took it a little bit as it should to follow me around the corner. Because when you think about it, when I'm turning the car, it's kind of like me holding the DJI and turning it with my hand it's going to turn the gimbal with it but not immediately it's going to take a minute so it's going to stay where it was at and it's going to take a little bit for it to follow so see it does drift to the side a little bit and then it should center back up on me eventually although now it's kind of going too far the other way all right so now when i turn here it should So it seems to drift around a little more without face tracking on. It's still doing the tipping thing that it does when you turn a corner, but it seems to recover from that. So there, I adjusted it, centered it up, but I'm just driving straight down the street now. I just wanna see how well it stays with the shot it has. See, it's already seems to be drifting away from me a little bit. So, I don't know face tracking might be the best option and it's also set it is set to fast Ooh, big bumps thing was bouncing all over the place so I don't know what that video looked like but hopefully it was relatively smooth because yeah when I drive the way that arm sticks I mean it's coming out from the windshield almost horizontally that far so it's bouncing quite a bit when I hit bumps but that's a good thing it's kind of acting as a shock absorber of when, from when I hit the bumps. Because if it was just rigidly attached to the windshield or the dashboard and I hit hard bumps, which are very frequent in Nebraska winters on the roads because the roads get full of potholes, so you frequently hit a pothole. And that would make the video just like shake and jitter violently if it didn't have the bounce shock absorbing capabilities that this arm sticking out from the from the windshield is giving so yeah all in all i am liking this uh, i can also mount it use this mount setup to get shots if i want to do a hyperlapse looking out the front window of the car of me driving home or something um, i think that would work pretty well and i'll probably test that at some point Problem is when I drive home, it's kind of dark out now, so I don't know how well a hyperlapse would work anyway. Run around the corner again, and there it goes. I can see it getting behind. Not too bad though. I do have it set on the fast track, so I want to see, just for a test, I'll do in the parking lot here. I'm put it on, so now it's on slow follow, so let's get me set up. So this is about how I want the shot to be. So let's see how well it does staying on me with the slow follow. Okay, I'm just going straight right now. 
It's going straight. And I'm gonna turn. Whoa, where are you going? Yeah, that's way over there. Okay. Now let's see if it catches back up. If it comes back over. It's coming back, but look, it's drifted up now. Now my head's slower in the shot than it was when we started. So it didn't come back over to the exact same spot. Well, slowly drifting down. Now let's turn the other way. Whoop, yep, see there I go. Actually reached the maximum limit of the gimbal. But then once I straighten out, it, it does slowly come back. So yeah, I would say when you, if you mount it to your dashboard, or if you mount it to your windshield and you want it to stay on you when you turn corners. So now let's put it on fast follow again. So now it's on fast follow. Now let's do that same test. I'm gonna take a hard right turn. It's keeping me in the frame much better than the than the slow follow did. Okay. And now a left turn. Yeah, definitely, definitely want to keep it in fast follow if you're mounting to a dashboard and going to be shooting yourself talking. So when you go around corners, it'll stay on you better. And I would guess probably also when you're doing a uh, if you're doing a motion lapse, pointing out the, or a hyperlapse with it pointed out your front windshield. So when you turn corners and stuff, so that it will rectify and correct itself faster, I would highly recommend putting it on fast follow as well. Short, short video today, but I just wanted to show you guys this solution. Those of you that are interested in this camera, what's out there, the ways that you can mount this thing in your vehicle. And yeah, I'm really liking this setup and I'm gonna use it in this suction cup will attach to the outside of vehicles. So you can use it for some creative shots that way. Um, yeah, you could use it with the GoPro as well. So I'm really excited to put this to use, but I'm gonna go inside and eat my lunch now. So that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. I don't know why I said peace there. That's weird, I, I don't ever say peace. A lot of vloggers are like, peace, peace, when they end their vlogs. I got to come up with a catchy way to end my vlogs. I just say, see you guys tomorrow, mm -hmm. which is fine. It's fine. It is what it is.